Hello, my name is Frank and I'm here to talk the word of God, the word of God as it is written down. Don't forget this, that the word of God written down, that's the truth. I'm not here to present about whatever I think or whatever I learned from my parents or whatever. No, I'm here to talk the word of God. That's the truth. And the truth will set you free. Don't tell me you love when you don't. To love is something very important. I'll go to the book of 1 Corinthians 13. It says here, the more excellent way, or in other Bibles it says, love. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not love, I become as a sounding brass or a tingling cymbal. In other words, I am just an empty tin making a noise and I'm nothing. And the Bible is very clear here, this book. It says, speak in tongues and you have love, no love, then you have nothing. And as well as it says, even if you might have the gift of prophecy, you have no love, nothing. It talks about you know the mysteries of the world and you talk about you have a lot of knowledge and probably you have a lot of faith you call it but you have no love it means nothing probably you can say I move mountains but you have no love it means nothing and also you might say I'm feeding all the poor here in this city this is city of Pretoria in the municipality of Tswane that's where I am today you might say I'm feeding everybody in this city, but if you have no love, you have nothing. And then of course, if you say my body is going to be burned because of love, nothing. And then at the end of the day, you might be a good singer, you might be a good speaker, eloquent, and you know, but if you have no love, you have nothing. Let me say this. It's very important for us to know where love comes from. Love comes from God. That's why he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. Love, many people they confuse. They think love, the law of love, only came in the New Testament, which is not true because it was there in the Old Testament as well. I'm going to give you two books the book of um, Deuteronomy. Are we going to read it together? Deuteronomy chapter 6. Open your Bibles with me as well. Because then when we read together, then we know the truth and the truth will set us free. I've found the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6, uh, verse 5. And it says, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with your mind. That is also in the New Testament, which is Matthew 22, verse 37. Love your God. Many people think it's a new law. No. Love God as well. It goes from, if you keep the first ten, uh, in the Ten Commandments, if you keep the first four, that's loving your God. If you disband them, if you forget about them, it means you don't love your God. It says, you shall have no other gods before me. And then you shall not make any self, any graven image for yourself. And you shall not use the name, and I, the, the name of the Lord thy God in vain. And then you shall remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. Those four, if you don't keep any one of them, it means you don't love God. People who don't understand, but that's what it is. It was there in the Old Testament, it's also there in the New Testament. Also, <clears throat> if I read to you uh, the book of Leviticus, Book of Leviticus, let's read together. Leviticus 19, verse 18. Let's read. Verse 18 says, Thou shalt not avenge, or shalt not revenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy God as thyself and the Lord says uh, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself the first one says you love your God but this one says you love your neighbor 
So you love your neighbor one, that's in, it's also in the book of uh, Matthew 22. Let me, let me go to Matthew 22 so that we are clearer on this. Matthew 22, let's read together. Uh, verse 37. Verse 37 says, Jesus said unto them, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with your mind. That's exactly what is written in the book of Deuteronomy 6, verse 5. Now, Leviticus 19, verse 18. That's, I'm going to read verse, uh, Matthew 22, verse 39. It says, And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So there's nothing new. These things were there in the Old Testament. I met a man this week. He says, why does God not just remove the Old Testament and just keep the New Testament? Because he came and he, he is Jesus. And I said, but the Old Testament was written by God and also the New Testament was written by God. So it's the word of God. It's the word of God. You cannot separate. But other people, they say, yeah, grace, there's, I met a lady as well who said, I don't have to have a day to rest because I'm there to make money. That's what she said. But God gives us six days. And the seventh day, the last day, which is Saturday, is the rest day to remember God himself, to thank him for the life he has for us. But then she said, no, I'm there to make money every day. That's be being greedy because you are you're disregarding what God said. The commandment says, remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy. The Sabbath day, don't forget, in the previous videos, the Sabbath day is a Saturday, because the first day is always Sunday. Don't forget, Luke 24 verse 1, Sunday number 1. That's when Jesus Christ rose on the first day. And then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is number 6, number 7. It's always Saturday. And that's the Sabbath of the Lord. So Luke uh, 24 verse 1 it says that and as well as Matthew 28 verse 1 it says about that so let's read and let's understand the truth the truth will set us free God himself he says you shall not work many people don't regard it they think you shall not work is not a law this shall not work is a law Adam broke the law in the in the Garden of Eden but Jesus Christ he came to fulfill the same law it's a law because it says you shall not work. You shall not work means leave everything. You had six days to work, but now this is the last day. Um, when you read the book of um, Exodus 20 verse 10, it says the Sabbath belongs to God. So it's not your day. It's not the church's day. Many people think it's the day of Moses and all that. That's not true. The Lord Sabbath belongs to God himself. And we have to follow what God says. Because at the end of the day, if you just do as we want, we'll never get anywhere. Because we are not our own. We are built by God. He made us. And we are also told to obey Him as our maker. We're not just there to live a life and then just like that. No, it doesn't work like that. So it's very important for us to love and to love God, and of course to love our neighbor. My neighbor is the one next to me. My neighbor is the one I travel with in a mini, a mini bus, in a taxi, and in the train, wherever I go. That's my neighbor. Tell them about the love of God. Then God will bless you at the end of the day. The neighbor is this, that person who is speaking another language different to yours. He's speaking Shangani. He's speaking Zulu, he's speaking Tulsa, he's speaking uh, Speedy. You know, that's your neighbor. In countries like other countries, they speak other languages, maybe in Zambia, if I can just give an example. They speak Bembu, they speak Nyanja, and they speak Tumbu and all that. But you say, no, he doesn't belong, he's not a part of me, he's your neighbor still. In Z and Zimbabwe, others speak Shona, others speak Ndebele and other languages. They are your neighbor still. In South Africa, you know, as I said, you live in another country, another city rather, in Cape Town, or you live in Pretoria, you're still your neighbor. 
but people they separate they say you to look like this you're not my neighbor because you're white you're not my neighbor because you're black you're not my neighbor that's not from God God wants us to love each other and that's why he says love L O V. let's listen to God and God will bless us because he says in his word love now it's a bit of a mystery sometimes people say I love God but then how can you love God that's the book of first uh, uh, John he says how can you love God whom you have not seen and you can't love your neighbor yes that's a puzzle for you today you haven't seen God and you say I love God but you hate your neighbor you're wasting your time you are just like person who says I love but you don't you hate so God bless us as we go to know the truth and love as love is because the people we love here now they're the very same people we're gonna be together in heaven so if you retain somebody at the church you say you're not coming to my church because you speak this language then you must know that's not true love how will you do that in heaven then God bless you as we learn and as we love true love which was given by God, God who gave, gave his only begotten son to die for us, and then we are alive because of him. Let's do that. God bless you as we keep reading and know the truth.